Um, allow me to continue. I want to make sure the camera is uh, running. Um, anyways, um, a lot of applications for this technology. Uh, first of all, automotive safety. Um, it's able to detect if you are fatigued, if you're tired, if you're drunk, if you're high, if you're intoxicated, uh, if you're going under highway hypnosis. Um, it's able to detect your um, ability to focus, concentrate, and read. Um, so it has extensive uh, applications in alerting drivers uh, to any fatigue, um, such as uh, being very, very tired. Um, Another uh, application of this eye tracking technology is for marketing. Um, let's say uh, you walk into a grocery supermarket and uh, on a shelf of many, many brands of orange juice, um, a camera is mounted which is able to track your eye movements and uh, this camera will detect which brand of orange juice you look at, how long you look at the brand. Uh, it will break down the letters um, of the words on the brand so they see where exactly on the carton you're staring at. Um, they'll see how long you're staring at it. Uh, and you know, I can go into this type of technology for you know quite an extensive amount of time. Um, a third and very common usage uh, in the near future is like Google Glass. Um, basically, instead of a video camera, um, um, you know, recording everything and being able to browse the internet. Um, you walk through a store or aisle or public place, uh, it'll be able to see uh, which tits you're staring at, whose faces you're staring at. Um, In point two miles. It'll be able to match up the North face Washington of the Street. shape um, of their faces. It'll probably pull up their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat profiles. It'll probably tell you their age, what they're about, what they're doing. Um, Turn it can right probably go as Washington far as being Street. able to tell human emotion to see uh, who in public is angry, sad, depressed, thinking, sleepy, you know, etc., etc., etc. So yes, this is the visual aspect of synthetic telepathy. Continue point three miles.